here's our first little portage. I just passed Terry Lake, which is just around the corner that way. Um, went back onto the creek, and here's a bunch of boulders and branches in the way. It says there's a portage of about 200 meters. I assume it starts here. So I'm gonna bring my axe, my saw, just in case there's lots of downfall and I have to clear something. And off we go. Yeah, it's probably about 200 meters, I'd say. Portage time. Just a little short one. Easy one too. So far. I like it when you can see the end from the beginning. That's pretty nice. Beauty. And off we go. I think we're making good speed today. Good progress. I'm gonna fill up my water bottles and then the other side of this lake, we're going right back into the creek. And then we end up on another small unnamed lake and back on the creek. And then there's four little portages along that creek, but short ones, like 40, 50 meters, according to the map. We'll see what the creek says but then after that we end up on Carroll Lake and if Carroll Lake is not too windy I like to paddle right east and along the north shore of Carroll Lake and uh, make my way into Donald that's my goal for tonight and there should be a campsite at um, some beautiful picturesque falls that Emmy recommended me thank you Emmy um, I'm gonna go check that out today Look at all the dragonflies. It's crazy. I can see probably fifty. mosquitoes you want buddy all of them
say an 800 meter stretch, but for short ones, saved me two, two trips, so. Less time portaging means more time fishing. So, what I'm gonna do. That was easy. That's a beauty. Look at that, eh? That's one cast. The second one. I've been here like two minutes, maybe. Beautiful. There you go. Little okay. guy. Okay. That's three. Let's get going. I want to get the Donald. Donald's really good for walleye too. I've been there before. Um, there's a bottom of falls there, so you know, that might be pretty good too. Let's go check it out. We're almost at the second pond. seems to kind of disappear there well I'm gonna turn left before that happens and we'll uh, portage around that because these look like pretty nice falls from here I just found this here I'm not exactly sure what animal this would be of or even what part of the animal it would be I'm not sure hip maybe I did find another piece what would that be of? Now this part, I recognize. That's a moose jaw. For sure. Look at that. That's crazy. They're big. Like, I got pretty big hands. Cool. Very cool. Here's a fourth piece of my portage. Um, the fifth one's right. Or the, the last one's right there. That's the other jaw. This exact same piece, just the other side. So, if I stay here for the rest of my trip, I might be able to put the whole animal together. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that.
whole creek. Very cool. I'm doing a lot of big lakes this trip too. So it's nice to up this aspect. Really nice. I think we're finally getting uh, out to Carroll here. Let's see what the the water looks like here. It's windy, but definitely not as wavy as I expected yet. So at least the wind will be sort of behind me, 45 degrees. So I'm gonna risk it. Try and get to Donald and hide behind the island. Right in my element, man. This is it for me. Some people, it's a white beach in Florida. Nah, not for me. This is it right here. Some of you might not know, I used to work on the big tall ships, big sailboats. This, this kind of weather, the waves, the whole feeling, the sunny, sunny sky, it reminds me of that a lot. Three of these already today. Not enough. Any more? Oh. So easy. Hey, beautiful rapids coming out of Donald. Um, it's really windy. <laughs> I strap my canoe down here. This is the beginning of the portage, 400 meters. That's it, then I'm at Donald. There's a campsite right there, or I can paddle to the other campsite, which is, should be another, another set of falls, which is what I might do. But we'll see. Final portage for today. 400 meters, pretty straightforward from Carroll to Donald. And then I'll pick a campsite on the other side and that will be it for today. That will be 12 hours close to it. It's beautiful rapids in passing. Just can't hardly see them though. I had to peek through the forest and find a spot closer to these rapids because they sounded amazing. Yeah, they're pretty spectacular. And then after that pool, they go on into the next rapid right away. Beautiful. So this is a big pool right above the falls. And uh, you can see the water disappearing there. Pretty amazing. Donald Lake, final stretch for today. And then I need a break, bad. <laughs> It's right up there, just over the hill.
here you can see what that wildfire looks like from a distance. Wind coming from the west, I'm looking directly south. So that's probably the Eagle Lake one, I want to say. I hope so. I don't think there'll be anything closer. That looks like about 30, 40 kilometers away. natural phenomenon in the boreal forest here. It's normal, the forest needs it. Um, what an epic day, again. So much happened today, so much seen today, so many new experiences. First cast. Gonna catch these guys all day long. Except for I got places to be, but this is fun. <laughs> number four. They're getting bigger slightly. Go for number five and then the bed maybe. Okay, I got number five in one cast after the last one, so I guess I'll catch one more. Cause I'm having too much fun. There he is, number six. Time for bed. I'm gonna go pack it up, put all my stuff away, tie, tie up the barrel somewhere against the tree, and. Hey, good morning. Um, so I woke up on uh, Donald Lake, looked outside, and it looked pretty threatening. It's just gray now, but you know, it might shower, it might rain, it's very cloudy. Um, so I just quickly packed up everything. I didn't even have breakfast or anything. I'll just grab some bars and uh, yeah, I want to get on the water. I want to get across Donald Lake before uh, it gets too windy. It is, it is seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm all packed up and ready to go. Well, here I go. Leaving the campsite on Donald Lake. Um, yeah, very cloudy, overcast. Might shower. I'm prepared though, I put my rain suit on. So it's okay, as long as it doesn't come on the, on the wind. But the lake's still calm, so even then, we should really be okay. So I'm gonna go up Kennedy Creek today, Kennedy Lake, and then I'll probably make it to Royd tonight. Stay there for tonight. Yeah. For now, paddle across the north end of Donald, west to east. Peaceful day. Donald is a good size lake, that's for sure. See the loon? Back into the creeks. Found it. Well, 
So here we are, first portage of the day. It's a short one. So I'll take you with me. I got my backpack. I already brought all my small stuff over. Someone put up these blue tapes here. Show the way. Lots of downfall here. Step over this big boy. There. There. Step down, and here we are. Not too bad. Two more times, and on to the water. Back on the creek. I took off my raincoat. There's actually a couple of small patches of blue sky here and there, so fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, that portage got me sweating pretty good. So, uh, back on the creek. Looks like fun. Okay. There. Now I have to get back in. There. Frog. Still got his tail. How cool is that? <laughs> Alright, so well here we go. I got my axe again, my saw, because as you can see, this portage looks a little rough. But blue tape, which makes things easier. Oh, oh that's gonna be a tough one with the canoe but we'll make it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can just go around. And break some of these branches off. The main thing for me is that I can make it through with the canoe too. Okay. This is, yeah, that's doable. Let's do that. What if, I wonder, what if I just go up here? Looks like it's a lot more open. And I can still see all the blue tape, yeah. Let's do that instead. That's gonna save me a lot of time hacking through that. 400 meters, this one. That 
blue tape really pops, doesn't it? Works good. Alright. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Well, the rest of the portage seems okay. Just that first part's a little rowdy. Yeah, this is pretty easy going. Can't complain so far. Moose in the water. Straight ahead on the other side of this pond or lake. I'm gonna be really quiet. I'll take out my camera when I'm there. I just finished a 400 meter portage and uh, of course the moose is long gone. That's another reason I like to bring my big blue bag first, my slug, because it has my camera in there. So in case I do see anything, I can take it out and try and get some pictures. I got some pictures, but he was far away, so I doubt they'd be very good. But yeah, that's cool, young old moose. The water again, they always in the water. Even the weeds. Anyways, I better be quiet. I want to see more of them. See you later. they do this with these water, waterproof shoes they're like or water shoes I mean why would they make them so the water stays in there that makes no sense does it or is that just me Nothing wrong with that. I don't mind. It's steep here. So I'm on Kennedy Lake now. And uh, I'm gonna go to one of the campsites here and look at the map and see how much time I have, how much I have done, and how much of my route is left. And then I'm gonna go from there because there's no point in me rushing if I'm way ahead of schedule. 
I want to take the time and enjoy these places too. Which I am, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I don't have to pound out the distance no more. I, I've done that. And uh, I still could, like, I have no problem doing it, but there's no point. I want to take more time to relax, fish, read my book. I want to write my journal, I have some catching up to do. I keep falling asleep after these long days. So, yeah, I'll go to the campsite and we'll go from there. So clearly I decided to stay here. Um, I looked at the map. There is no point in rushing at all. I'm like halfway down the park already. So I think I'm I'm done a good quarter of the full distance of my route. And uh, I have four weeks left. So I can take a break, I can take it easy do shorter parts every day and just relax every enjoy the moments enjoy the days I enjoy going hard but I enjoy sitting down and fishing more maybe going out trolling a little bit for lake trout stuff like that I like doing that too I'm just spending most of my day in my tent uh, it's kind of cold out miserable raining on and off um, I just came out of my tent after reading my book for like an hour and uh, instantly I get that like campfire smoke, wood smoke. So there's another fire, I think. And like my compass is pointing north is that way. That's not the one at Eagle Lake that we were seeing earlier. Definitely not, this is a different one. So I don't know if that's a new one that started. I don't know, find out.